Hello guys and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Today we actually have a couple of updates and a new, well not new, it's actually a redraw or rerun. Finally we actually got the rerun, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So pretty much nothing that we need to talk, it's just for the fact that, uh, well let's go first for the events. Pretty much the events is something that we need to check. So we already have the Frenzy Battle, the Bleach Rat Hunt, so... Pretty much, you just need to what you, what you need to do. Pretty much, and you get the reward. Nothing so crazy or easy like that. It's pretty much something that you can do very easy, though. Um, then we have the event of the beach one. I think that we have. Let me see if we have uh, missions here. And oh, I didn't. I haven't checked that one. Oh my bad. Um, do we have? Do we have any kind of new story or something like that? Do we? Let me check. Okay, so the bottom one, it's just the situation though, we do have a new, uh, what's it called? Yeah, a bit new of, of exchange things that we need to have. So we have the blue powder, firefish. Ha! That looks kind of crazy. This is actually new for Matt, so let's just talk about it. So it ha deals 320 physical fire damage for a single enemy, boosts physical and, and fire potency. Then you get attack boost, physical attack, physical attack, not bad. You, have, you absolutely have the Mithril Iga, the Mithril Ore, some bit of like draw tickets, some memories for Matt and Yuffie, um, the specific weapon port for Matt, and all the good stuff though. So nothing so crazy here, just completed. Obviously you got new things though, so you'll be able to get blue crystals along the way, along with this one as well. So just don't forget to do the daily missions and you'll be fine to get in blue crystals. Now let's talk about the new banner, which, it, well, it says Reawaken. Uh, why do I have to say it guys just simply go ahead and um, don't forget the wish list something I don't think I'm gonna be able to to what's it called to to tell you exactly what this banner does. it's pretty much all the four um, banners pretty much all the four um, skins and weapons that we previously had um, alongside the way let me see if the stamps gives you that info so as you can see the skin is for cloud and well red 13 and the other two ones that I already have which is Aerith and Tifa so I'm just gonna make a recap of what does every single skin does so Maritime Sailor boost HP and water mastery nothing so crazy about that for red 13 you have boost HP and also physical attack very good one then for the weapons which is this one the Sun Umbrella you get Night Bloom. Night Bloom is for Aerith. Deals 340 magical non-elementary damage for critical rate per 10. Also, physical damage is decreased. Um, and also, magical defense is decreased. Physical and magic defense. Boosts magic attack and boosts magic ability potency. Uh, attack boosts magic and magic attack, which is absolutely amazing. Then we have the Mad Room Sword, which is deals 400 and physical water damage for a single enemy. Three um, Boost physical attack and boost water potency. Uh, physical physical the sigil boost um, Let me see about this one seaside collar as you can see 320 physical non-elemental damage um, For a single enemy critical rate per 10 also thunder resist is decreased and regen is applied for yourself Thus attack attack and sigil boost and the tifa one which that's the reason why I had my tifa for a long long time as a support healing waves magic heal is cast 338% of healing potency for all allies. Heal and boost fire resist. This one is kind of meh, but I understand. Physic attack, magic, and heal boost, which that's amazing. And the last two skins, which they're not displayed here, and if we don't have the stamps available, I have to go directly to my solo party, maybe, and I'll be able to tell you which uh, for the Aerith and Tifa one. So, sorry it's delaying, it does take a long time. So the Sunny Rope, HP, and Magic Attack, and the Tifa one. Let me go directly for the Tifa one here. Directly, this one provides, uh, sorry for the delay again, boost HP and boost healing potential. Uh, so, no, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, boost HP and boost heal. Those are all the effects that you have for the four um, banners and skins. So. This is a great opportunity for people who haven't played the game 
when this was released. I believe it was released on September, the first, second, or third week of September. It was barely at the beginnings of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. So yeah, for people who haven't played this game from the beginnings, uh, this is absolutely very good. Now, I know that Tifa, it's not a good support, but hey, this skin is amazing, and that was the reason why I had this um, Tifa for a long, long time as a support, until I replaced her for Aerith. Um, obviously, the magic ability for Cloud is absolutely amazing. If you don't have any water abilities, this is absolutely very good. It's been carrying me for a long time. Obviously, the skin looks like meh, or pretty much the, the you know, the... The copy of Barret, pretty much, but hey, it does what it does, HP and water potency, so that's good. And Barret 13, HP and physical attack, the physical attack is a very good one. Um, so that is where you want to go ahead and choose whatever you want. So again, um, you're able to select which one that you want um, for the four banners that you absolutely got. Uh, unfortunately, when you, uh, when you already got all the skins, as you can see, you're getting 30 Mithril Ore. But even so, the guarantee guarantee looks kind of cool. Guarantee guarantee, like for a rerun banner for the second page, getting guarantee five star without the four star, that's a great buff. That's something that you haven't checked on the previous one because on the previous one, since I already complete the first one, you only get four star or high, higher guaranteed, four star and then guarantee. So having this for new people who are going to pull for this banner, I think it's a worth. Just because of the fact that you're getting the four skins, which it will take you a long, long um, amount of blue crystals if you want the four of them, if you don't own of them, or simply go, I will say from for all four, Aerith is the one that deserves the first spot. Second, um, Red 13 alongside with Cloud, because this one provides physical and this one is specifically the water ability or the water mastery. And I'll put Tifa for last because again Tifa is more like a fighter instead of a support So I understand why this skin has to go directly to the third one in terms of utility For specific reasons Tifa is number one in regards about the aesthetic Aerith or well we can depends depends because either Aerith and Tifa they uh, they both look amazing. They both look amazing in the skins. Red 13 looks cool, and I think that Clouded deserves the last spot. It depends on which people like it. But I thought that we were gonna have another skin for Tifa. It the, it does not look like the one. Uh, we will have to check later on if we'll have that skin later on. But yeah, you're free to choose. Again, I'll just recap it. Cloud is the water attacker. Um, Red 13 is physical, and the Aerith is the one that provides like, um, what's it called? Magic attack, and Tifa specifically for, uh, what's it called? For healing. So yeah, all of them have HP, water, magic, healing, and physical attack. So depends on you, if you want to go ahead and pull for it. My personally, I already pulled it last year. I don't have to pull for anything like that. And even so, if you like either one of them, you're you're free to do that. So, but I think I'm very very um, good with the skins that I already have with Red 13, which is like I mentioned, a black Charizard. If I already pull it that way, um, I think that have something specifically with the skin. What did he had? Boost HP and Frame Frost. Well, at least it doesn't have the physical attack, but, well, you get the point. I really love the skins that I have. So, good luck out there for people who are going to pull for both of those, um, what's called skins, depending on which one that you want. Again, all of them have their specific and amazing ways to actually get the skins. Um, pretty much, again, you just need to go ahead and choose the one that you like. For me, I got Tifa first, then I got Aerith, and then... I think that each one, I think that Aerith and Tifa were in the same banner. I don't remember correctly, but yeah, pretty much I got both of them. So again, if you're looking to get either one of them, it's all your choice. Again, I'm just going to recap it again one more time. Magic, healing, physical, and water. That's all that you need to know. 
And this is going to be available until the 21st of June, which that will be until the next two weeks. You do have a lot of time to actually go ahead and pull and see which one that you want. So, or you can just save up a bit of your blue crystals. Remember uh, that Vincent Valentine is on the corner. So keep that in mind. And pretty much you, well, I think this is going to be ending until tomorrow. Um, this one, it's all, both of those banners are going to be ending until the 21st. So I think that we're not going to have any more summer event banners. I think, as far as I know. Um, unless if they want to release the solo Tifa one, but I don't think that that's possible. I, I hope so. I hope so. So, other, one more thing. No, I think that we're actually good. This is an emergency, um, Oh, it was already it was already done. So no, I don't think that you don't have to do anything like that. Or I just ran something interesting. Let me check something here. Blue crystal three hundred. Oh yeah, we already got this. The following is scheduled to be extended for extra twenty four battle, crying scene, Sephiroth, kill up battle. So okay, no, I think that we don't have anything like that. So again, I already did the recap, but I'll just say it one more time. Um. We already have the rewind banner. We got the four skins, the four weapons. Well, the weapons, whatever. We are we're just only here for the skins. Um, you already have the wish list, as you can see. You can pull for any one that you want. If you don't want the weapon, that's okay. This is purely just for the skins. So if you're pulling for this banner, you're pulling for the skins. Only specifically for the skins. Um, if you already have one, you want to go directly to one. You can just stop. You go directly to two. You go ahead and do it. If you want to go ahead and do the four of them, good luck. Because you will need a lot of RNG for your Chocobo stamps. So, I don't have anything else to say. I think that we're good to go. So, good luck if you're going to be pulling for this banner. Which is absolutely very good for the skins. Um, and, well, I'll leave it up to you. I will ignore this banner. Because, again, I already have the skins that I already have um, last year. So, yeah, I'm just going to skip it. Good luck, out, good, good luck, guys, if you're going to pull this banner. May your hearts be your guiding key, and I'll see you guys next time into the next video. Peace, guys.